Welcome to Around the World Channel. Officials. Iran weighs plot to kill U.S. Ambassador to South Africa, Politico. Still, attacking Marx is one of several options U.S. officials believe Iran's regime is considering for retaliation since the general, Qasem Soleimani, was assassinated by a U.S. Oracle wins bidding for TikTok in U.S., after Microsoft proposal rejected, the Wall Street Journal. Oracle Corp. won the bidding for the U.S. operations of the video-sharing app TikTok, a person familiar with the matter said, beating out Microsoft Corp. Joe Burrow loses Bengals debut versus Chargers after Randy Bullock misses late FG, Bleacher Report. Brian Wollston Associated Press Cincinnati Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow's NFL debut ended in heartbreak as his team lost 16-13 at home to the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday. NVIDIA to buy ARM holdings from SoftBank for $40 billion, CNBC. Chipmaker NVIDIA has agreed to buy ARM Holdings, a designer of chips for mobile phones, from SoftBank in a deal worth $40 billion, the companies announced Sunday. The deal will include $21. NFL Week 1 Scores, Highlights, Updates, Schedule, Tom Brady Rushing TD Caps Off Buccaneers Scoring Drive, CBS Sports. It's the opening NFL Sunday of the 2020 season and we're keeping you updated on all the action and biggest storylines throughout the day. Massive protests continue in Belarus as demonstrators demand Lukashenko resign, NPR. Opposition supporters protest against authoritarian leader Alexander Lukashenko in Minsk on Sunday. Tut. Georgia Sheriff's deputy fired for beating black man during traffic stop, New York Post. A Georgia Sheriff's deputy was fired after being caught on video repeatedly punching a black man as he lay pinned to the ground, authorities said Sunday. Zendaya and John David Washington's secret quarantine film Malcolm and Marie is headed to Netflix, Vulture. Remember that secret movie Zendaya and John David Washington filmed during quarantine? Well, it's headed to Netflix. Oregon Fire Chief and crew lose homes, station as they battle Holiday Farm Fire, NBC News. A rural fire chief and several of her volunteer firefighters in Oregon lost their homes and station house to the Holiday Farm Fire as they battled the blaze for the last few days. Israel heads to a second lockdown as coronavirus cases soar, the Washington Post. Data published by the Health Ministry on Sunday showed that since the start of the crisis, 153,759 people in Israel have caught the virus, with 114,635 recovering, 38,008 cases active and 1,108 dead. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.